Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin is definitely showing more weakness than it would be ideal in the yellow micro count. Um, again, we always have to see it in the correct light, I think. Okay, remember that Bitcoin already reached my targets in this B wave corrective rally. And also remember that I highlighted to you that that one more high that ideally would still happen is the icing on the cake. It's done most of what it needs to do, and therefore it is quite understandable that Bitcoin is struggling in this reason in this region. Yeah, it's not impulsive on the upside. It could be a diagonal pattern that's forming, or we're dealing already with the C wave to the downside. Yeah, but that would take a little bit more evidence. Until then, we can still explore if the wave four is still unfolding. Let me explain. Nothing new, really. We talked about these scenarios um, in the last video, but I think it's worth just getting everybody on the same page. Idea is third wave topped here. That was around the 13th of March. A wave down of wave four, the wave four correction. B wave rally, ideally still one more high. And then a C wave down. The minimum requirements for this B wave rally are fulfilled, as you know. So we have to be on the side of caution. But it takes a break below micro support to confirm that a B wave top has formed. Now we broke a below the upper support area. I will take that out now, clearly. So I have to, I cannot yet confirm a, a top is in in wave B, but I have to change the micro count. All I can do now is to say that possibly wave four is still in the making. And then this has formed a wider flat structure in an A, B, C structure. A wave down. And then possibly, or let me think, yeah, A wave down. Um, and then, or it might actually be a WXY structure. That would look much better as a WXY. Okay, does it make, matter really? Not not really, but we want to do it correctly. So WXY. That's at least one possible interpretation here for this correction. The exact micro count is not so important. Important is support. What's support? It's 66,800, uh, no, it's 700. So a break below that level would then make me assume that we are already in the C wave down. Until then, it might still turn to the upside from here. Is that a great trade setup? I, I personally don't think so. Okay, so we had some, we had a couple of setups down here, which I mentioned obviously here when the price dipped into the larger support region. And then we had one here because that was an AB to trade a C wave to the upside. Basically, you have the highest probability element then still in the move. Yeah, you can still ride the trend. We're now in a situation where we might just be talking about the fifth wave if it happens, okay? But the trend is down short term. There's no indication that a low is in place. And essentially what uh, we wanna see is eventually the price gets into this lower support region for a retest to complete the way four. Without red candles, you cannot complete a correction. However, it is entirely possible that we form one more high before we do it. And that's just what I wanna just communicate. We could still get that one more high. Just don't be surprised if it happens. Probabilities for it have reduced, but not to the degree that I would confirm a top. And I can really only confirm a top in wave B once we have a convincing break below 66.7K. And uh, until I see the structure that convinces me that we're already on the move down in this uh, C wave. I mean, the move up does technically look unfinished. So you can always be a WXY instead of an ABC structure, right? To the upside. Um, but certainly nothing clearly bullish here at the moment. If anything changes, then I will of course let you know. If the price forms a fifth wave to the upside, still in the yellow count, and we get that one more high, well, then it would take a reaction before breaking below 66.7K. There's an additional support level at 67,600, and it would take a break above the last high at 70,070 to indicate that the fifth wave to the upside has started to unfold. That hopefully gives you a broad idea of where things might be going. I don't think we need to change really the wave count. I've shifted the microstructure. That's completely normal in corrections. Bitcoin is struggling in that area. Shouldn't really be a surprise because we see it as a B wave rally only. So yeah, keep you updated. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment 
and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.